Have you ever heard of a city that simply vanished, swallowed by the endless sands of the desert? Today, we delve into the myth of Zazura, a city so legendary that its existence is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Zazura, a city described as white as a dove and filled with treasures beyond one's wildest dreams. It's a city that has been mentioned in numerous ancient texts and maps, yet its exact location remains a mystery. These historical documents, some dating back to the 13th century, describe Zazura as a city of unparalleled beauty and wealth. A city that seemingly disappeared without a trace. But where could this city possibly be? Many theories have been proposed throughout the centuries. Some believe that Zazura could be hidden somewhere in the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert, buried deep beneath the undulating dunes. The Sahara, after all, is a place known for its secrets. It's a landscape that changes with every gust of wind, a place where the past can easily be swallowed by the sands of time. Others propose that Zazura might not be a physical location at all, but rather a metaphorical place, a utopia that exists only in our imaginations. Perhaps it's a symbol of the human desire for discovery and adventure, or a representation of our endless quest for knowledge and understanding. Despite these theories, no concrete evidence of Zazura's existence has ever been found. Yet, the legend of Zazura continues to captivate the minds of historians, archaeologists and adventurers alike. It's a tale that has been told and retold throughout the centuries, a story that has become part of our collective human history. And so we embark on this journey of discovery together, exploring the sands of time in search of the truth. Will we find Zazura, the lost city of the Sahara, or will it remain a mystery forever hidden beneath the shifting sands? And so begins our quest for Zerzura, the lost city of the Sahara. Imagine stepping into the shoes of an intrepid explorer, setting out on a journey fraught with peril and uncertainty. As you embark on this quest, you're not just stepping into the unknown, you're stepping into a chapter of history that's as captivating as it is elusive. You're stepping into the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert, a formidable titan of nature that stretches almost as far as the eye can see. The Sahara is not just a desert, it's a living, breathing testament to the relentless march of time. It's a place where the burning sun reigns supreme during the day and the cold of the night can chill you to the bone. Picture the relentless shifting dunes and ever-changing landscape that's as unpredictable as it is beautiful. The challenges it poses are not for the faint of heart. Every grain of sand, every gust of wind becomes a test of endurance, of determination. But why, you might ask, would anyone choose to venture into such a harsh and unforgiving environment? The answer lies in the allure of adventure, the thrill of discovery, the tantalizing promise of unearthing a lost city hidden beneath the sands of time. The lure of Zazura, the mythical city said to be filled with treasures beyond imagination, is a siren call that has enthralled explorers for centuries. Despite the hardships, the journey is not without its rewards. The Sahara, in its own stark, desolate beauty, offers moments of tranquility and awe-inspiring vistas that are worth every arduous step. And then, there's the thrill of the chase, the exhilaration that comes with every new clue, every potential sign that we might be getting closer to our goal. The journey to Zazura is a journey into the heart of the unknown, a journey that pushes us to our limits and beyond. It's a journey that embodies the spirit of exploration, the desire to delve into the mysteries of the past and bring them to light. Ahead lies nothing but sand and sky, yet the promise of Zazura calls us forward. In the heart of the desert where the sun blazes and the sand shifts, reality and illusion blur. Here, the unforgiving desert landscape has a way of twisting what the eyes perceive and the mind believes. In such an environment, could the lost city of Zerzura be nothing more than a mirage, a trick of light and heat? To understand this, we must first delve into the science of mirages. They are not mere figments of exhausted minds, but rather optical phenomena that occur when light rays bend to produce a displaced image of distant objects or the sky. The scorching desert heat causes the air near the ground to warm up significantly more than the cooler air above. This temperature difference bends the light rays upward towards our eyes, creating the illusion of water or even buildings where none exist. In the vast expanse of the Sahara, where water is as precious as life itself, these mirages often take the form of shimmering lakes tantalizingly out of reach. The thirsty traveler driven by desperation might perceive this illusion as reality, a life-saving oasis amid the relentless dunes. 
The same principle applies to a city, a structure, a civilization. In the sweltering desert, could a cluster of rocks, distorted by the heat haze, appear as grand buildings, a citadel or a fortress? Imagine then an explorer, weary and disoriented, suddenly catching sight of a white city gleaming in the distance. Could they not mistake it for Zazura, the city of myth and legend? That's the power of a mirage. It can conjure up lakes, cities, even whole civilizations out of thin air. It can give hope where there is none, and it can take it away just as quickly. So, in the relentless heat of the desert, where reality and illusion are indistinguishable, we are left with a tantalizing question. In this realm of shimmering illusions, could Zazura be a mirage that fooled countless explorers? What if Zazura was not a city of gold and jewels, but a city of knowledge and wisdom, lost to the sands of time? A provocative question indeed, one that might lead us down a different path in our exploration of this enigmatic city. Many have been lured to the desert by tales of a city glittering with gold, but let's entertain an alternate theory. What if the true wealth of Zazura resided in its libraries, its schools, its astrolabes? What if Zazura was a beacon of wisdom, a hub of ancient trade routes, a center of learning that attracted scholars from all corners of the known world? Imagine Zazura as a bustling metropolis, filled not with treasure chests, but with scrolls and manuscripts, with artisans and scholars, with ideas and innovations. Its streets echoing with debates on philosophy, astronomy and medicine. Its markets brimming with traders from distant lands, bringing with them an exchange of culture, knowledge and ideas. Evidence to support this theory is not entirely absent. Ancient texts hint at a city where knowledge was the most precious jewel. Artifacts unearthed in nearby regions believed to be of Zerzuran origin include not just ornate jewellery but also intricate astrolabes and beautifully illustrated manuscripts. These relics suggest a civilization that prized intellectual pursuits, a city that fostered knowledge, that was illuminated not by the glint of gold but by the glow of wisdom. A city that was a nexus of ancient trade routes, a melting pot of cultures, a city that was lost not to greed and plunder but to the relentless march of time and the shifting sands of the desert. This perspective paints a different picture of Zazura, one that is perhaps more fascinating than the city of gold we initially sought. It raises more questions, invites further exploration and adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of this lost city. Perhaps the true treasure of Zazura is not gold, but the lost knowledge of an ancient civilization. The lost city of Zazura, it seems, still has many secrets to reveal. As the sun sets on our journey, one question remains. Will the mystery of Zazura ever be solved? Zazura, the tantalizing enigma of the desert, continues to captivate explorers, historians and dreamers alike. Its tale woven into the very fabric of history remains as elusive as the shifting sands of the desert it is said to inhabit. This lost city, hidden somewhere within the vast, unforgiving Sahara, has been sought by countless souls, all lured by the promise of untouched riches, ancient knowledge and the allure of the unknown. Throughout the ages, tales of Zazura have passed from generation to generation, each adding to the city's grandeur and mystery. The city, described as a white oasis of peace and prosperity, has been a beacon of intrigue for centuries. This intrigue, this unquenchable thirst for discovery, is what fuels the relentless quest for Zazura. Yet, despite numerous expeditions and tireless searching, Zazura remains an enigma. Its precise location, its very existence, remains shrouded in mystery. But is it not this very mystery that makes the quest for Zazura so captivating? The promise of an undiscovered city, a hidden oasis amidst the barren desert, is a tantalizing prospect that continues to beckon explorers from all corners of the globe. This enduring fascination with Zazura is a testament to the human spirit, our inherent curiosity and our unending quest for knowledge. It's a reminder that there are still mysteries out there waiting to be solved, waiting to be discovered. So, as we conclude this journey, we are left to ponder. Will the mystery of Zazura ever be solved? Perhaps one day the sands will shift, revealing the lost city to the world. Or perhaps Zazura will remain a legend, a symbol of the unknown, forever out of reach. As long as there are sands to shift and mysteries to unravel, the quest for Zerzura, the lost city of the desert, will endure. And remember, the journey is often more rewarding than the destination. Hope you enjoyed this journey with us. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating tales from history.